Hey Kenny. Ah, hello Mika. How so are you? this is a beautiful uh, sweet shop. Indeed it is. Okay. Uh, tell me, you are here for how many years? We're here for five years, Mika. Um, we started the shop uh, with very little, mm -hmm. and we've built it up to what it is now. Um, over the last five years, we've made some significant changes to the shop. Yeah, you make uh, you made changes like uh, you said in the beginning. You only had like an ice cream machine and some candy uh, jars. That's all, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and now we have the the pick and mix. Uh, we make our own fudge. And we also have uh, the international sweets from all over Europe. And we also sell American candy that we import direct ourselves. Very good. So um, behind you, all these jars, this is what you call the nostalgic yes, sweets. Yes. Can you tell us something? What's nostalgic about it? Well, <laughs> a lot of these sweets would date back 50 to 100 years. And when people come in, they, uh, they see the sweet that they remember from their childhood and they purchase them uh, with a fond memory. Okay, okay, exactly. So, can you give an example of a very popular nostalgic candy? From, from my age group? Yeah, uh, for instance. <laughs> Cola Cube would be the landmark sweet of my generation. And uh, I'm 45 years of age. So I can relate directly to that, and most 45 year olds to 40, 50 can relate directly to this, okay? Very good, so okay, so this is then the nostalgic department, then you have uh, uh, the fudge, you told me about this, Did you make this yourself, eh, Kenny? Yes, we make it here and we make 20 different flavours, uh, this one here is an orange and chocolate, we make a coffee, uh, Oreo cookies and cream, um, chocolate fruit and nut, we make a, an Irish whiskey, which is a very good one, Mika. You like that one the best, I think. Okay, yeah, I just tasted it. It was very good. <laughs> we do uh, Belgian chocolates. We make uh, Belgian chocolate, right? Our Rocky Road from Belgian chocolate. Um, Belgian okay, uh, okay. This is the second thing. Then the third thing is what you called pick and mix, eh? This is a pick and mix. Pick and mix. It was invented in Sweden. Uh, the Swedes are big sweet eaters, and they invented this. And um, the kids from twenty down use this section of the shop mainly. Oh really? Yeah, they do. They, uh, they like to fill their bags and they like uh, a wide variety. So. Um, yeah, and they pay by the weight, eh? by the, the weight of they, what? They pay by the weight. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. So this is then the, uh, the third thing. The fourth thing, this is this department. This is for me as a Dutchman very exciting because I always see the word Dutch, 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 yeah. Dutch. And we've this got, is of course very nice. With Dutch, with Swedish, uh, with Italian, with Belgian. Um, Even Finnish. Yeah, we get... Um, we try to pick the quality sweets from each nation and bring them to the Ireland. Um, Liquish is one of the big eaters in, uh, in these countries, so we try to bring it to the Irish people. And yeah. they like it. Exactly. it also suits the tourists that come in from them countries. And your uh, wife told that many Dutchmen uh, from Dundalk working with PayPal, they come they to your yeah, shop to buy, <laughs> to buy the licorice. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for the Englishman, we have the toffees. The Englishman likes the toffees, you know. Um, so we have a range of toffees here for them, you know. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Now this is a, a really good sweet company. It's it's from Holland. It's called George. It's over a hundred years old, and we also stock uh, a wide variety of these sweets too. Very good. Okay, so and then we go to the end of the shop to the. Just, uh, uh, Mickey, the Mickey, you're running ahead too fast. Okay. We have uh, <laughs> the American candy, which is a, a big thing now uh, for Irish children that they see. Uh, American candy on television and we give them the opportunity to actually taste it and stuff and we import that from uh, the US of A direct. Oh yeah, I, uh, when I first uh, scanned your shop I didn't even see it. Oh, a lot of yeah. M&Ms. Okay, this is, yeah, it looks really American, exactly, yeah. Yeah, and we have uh, like American sized candy bags. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, this is... So, an Irish candy sized bag is this size. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And an American is this size. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So the Irish kids are starting to go on. Yeah, 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 exactly. Super okay. size, super size. Uh, super size. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so what's here? Uh, basically, we have a, a whipped ice cream. Um, we have two whipped ice cream machines here, and we do uh, a whipped cone. 
Now we also make milkshakes from these. And what we do is we introduce uh, the candy bar into the milkshake. So you can flavorize the, the milkshake with your particular type of candy. So if you put a Snickers bar in, you get a Snickers milkshake. Exactly. Bune, we get Bune. Yeah. Then we have a, a locally produced um, scoop ice cream here, which is uh, nine different flavors, and we change them from week to week. So we have between 15 flavors and nine on display at any given time. Um, uh, as, as you can see, they're all um, cookies and cream flavor. We have fair roche, honeycomb, bubblegum. Mint. Yeah, it's very, very. Uh, it looks your, your shop looks so great. Uh, um, uh, you do the, you 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 do it together with your wife at eh, this business. We yeah, do, she's yeah. just standing in the door now. This is Denise talking to the yeah, local exactly, couples. exactly. But also, um, I heard that you have two kids, and I was thinking when you told me that this is the dream of every young kid to have a father and a mother with a candy shop. <laughs> is that true or not? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> This uh, has become the workplace for me, and the kids don't like me going to work. They'd rather I stay at home and play with them. So uh, after a short period of opening the sweet shop, they decided uh, that they didn't like the sweet shop anymore, you know? But sometimes I treat them and bring them over after hours, and they get ice cream for, and milkshake. for milkshakes. Okay, this is what your, your, your kids like most, the milkshakes. Yeah. That's it. Okay, the last point I want to discuss is, yeah, um, uh, the clients. I just saw um, walk in a group of Belfast kids, maybe there were like 20 kids. Yep. Um, this happens a lot, that you have this invasion of, uh, of children, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, from March on in Ireland, uh, the kids go on a traditional school tour. It's a, it's a day out from school and they go to different locations and Carlingford has become one of them destinations. And we cater for them groups coming. Um, they have, uh, their mommy gives them pocket money going away and they're not allowed to bring it home, they have to spend it. <laughs> okay, so does that mean that I can draw the conclusion that this is a very economically very healthy business? <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, in moderation, like everything else. Uh, moderation is the secret to life, you know? It's a tourist season. Okay, so yeah, you said that in the weekends uh, are for you the big selling days. You sell more on the weekends than during the whole midweek uh, yeah, because absolutely. of the tourism. Tourism, yes. Yeah. The village population here in Carlingford is maybe 1,200 midweek and 5,000 at the weekend. Exactly. Okay, we're going to end this video. Um, thank you very much. Um, I just introduce you to one more person, Mika? Yeah, of course. This is my ex-wife, uh, <laughs> Peppa Pig. Okay, after the divorce you uh, hang her here. Uh. <laughs> Very good. I wish you good business and uh, um, good luck in life and everything. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mike.